So you just got your brand spanking new wildcard SSL from GoDaddy or Digicert or whoever you got it from. You import it into IIS. Then you found out other things need that certificate. For example, we'll use ClearPass. There you go, you import your new certificate. HTTPS, and you go to this convenient upload PKCS 12 PFX. Everything's looking good, right? So we select it, we put in our passphrase, which is your private key, and ClearPass doesn't like it. They want things in a certain order. Well, I have good news. And I have good news. This is very easy to fix. So let's fix it. But before we do, you do need a product called OpenSSL. It's a command line program. Uh, the Windows versions are getting a little bit uh, scarce to find, it seems, but they're out there. So let's... Uh, I have it already installed, so we'll just go ahead and open it. And you're going to open up the Windows Win64 Open SSL command prompt. So now, made these uh, pre made some instructions. The, uh, where your user directory is pointed to right now is not critical. So all you got to do is you basically have to separate this thing. So the certificate and key are going to be two different pieces. This first one is actually going to make the certificate. And, well, this is not off to the good start. Oh, I may have this name wrong. Yes, I do. Let's try it again. Okay, so of course, uh, this is the path where your PFX file or your export from IIS would sit, and this is where you want to spit it out. If you don't put this file path in, it'll spit out, in my case, it'll spit it out to C users administrator. Try it again. Uh oh. That's a little bit better, so we'll put our import password. It'll look like that it's not doing anything, but rest assured it is. So now we're going to do the same, but this one is going to export the private key. I'm just going to copy and paste in my case. Now, a lot of your directions, I'm going to highlight some of this nodes, this dash nodes. Uh, it almost seems like this puts on an additional password if you don't have this. So it's very important. At least in ClearPass, you have that minus nodes in there, so that way it doesn't ask for any additional passcodes. It just asks for a private key, and you should be off and running. So same drill, it'll ask for your import password, which is the private key you made when you exported it from IIS or wherever your certificates are stored. And now, we shall go over to ClearPass. And let's try this import again. And I'll select the right one because I already corrected it on one. So now we're going to use upload certificate and private key file. So we want cert PEM. The bottom one is going to be key PEM. And then you put your private key in. And it should in theory work. And yep, it uh, works great. You can see now that this was issued on a much later date and it expires on a much later date. So that should be pretty much it. Uh, and there is an instruction that you want to re-log into corresponding server if you are logged in already. So I will do that after the fact. And that is pretty much it for this demonstration. Now it's not like I don't like talking to ClearPass folks, but if there's an easier way to do things and not bother them with uh, little stuff like this, this is a great opportunity 
for something for you to try if you're having trouble. And if you're in a situation where, well, I'm still running into trouble, maybe export or import your certificate into an IIS box, export it with the private key, and just try what I did here. Now, not all setups are the same, so you may still have to call ClearPass and bug them, but hopefully this saves a few people. So, if you have any uh, questions or comments or uh, constructive commentary, of course, you may feel free to leave them in the comments section. As always, thank you for watching.